Hi, so today we're going to be demonstrating how to apply the Kendrick traction device or Kendrick splint, which is used to immobilize femur fractures. So the device comes in a little bag. And the first part you apply is the ankle hitch, which goes around the patient's ankle. Or the boot hitch, which um, is an alternative to the ankle hitch. So if somebody's wearing a, um, a workman's boot or something like that, then you would use this one. Next up, we've got the thigh support system, which goes on as high up in the thigh as possible. Then we have the traction bar with knee elastic strap. Then we have two other straps. We have the ankle strap and the thigh strap. And these follow the traffic light, red, amber, green. So now we're gonna show you how to apply the device to a patient. So before applying the Kendrick traction device, there are a few things that you need to ensure. Firstly, you need to check the patient's neurovascular status in that limb. You need to make sure that the patient is either sedated, has a nerve block in place, or is well analgesed as this is going to be a painful procedure. And you need a second person to help stabilize the limb. At UHL, it's the doctors that need to apply the traction. So if a member of nursing staff is doing this procedure, then when the traction device is tightened, you just need to make sure that it's the doctor that does that. So first up, we have the ankle hitch. So you attach that underneath the ankle, secure with the Velcro. You've got the section that goes underneath the foot and just make sure that's tight. Ensure that the yellow section is long and the red section is short. Okay, so the next part to go on is the thigh strap. So we put it on under the patient's knee and slide it up. And it is tightened, making sure that the holes for the traction device are on the outside of the thigh. So when the thigh strap is attached, it should be at an angle in the groin so that the traction pole receptacle is over the belt line or the pelvic crest. So next we take the traction pole and extend it out. And we want to measure it against the patient's leg. So the, the black line on the pole should be level with the foot. So now at this end, we need to shorten it to fit into the poles. and then we pop it inside the holes on the thigh strap. So now we need to attach the elastic knee strap. So just with the Velcro, like that. Next up, you put the yellow loop onto the end of the traction bar and pull the red. Toggle till it's nice and tight. And you wanna keep pulling until you get enough traction to mobilize the leg. So next we attach the elastic thigh strap. And finally we attach the elastic ankle strap. So after you've applied the Kendrick traction device, you need to check the patient's neurovascular status in that limb again. And then you'll be left with the traffic light system. Red, amber, green.